We're back live for another rocking global leaders interview and today we have with us the incredible Nadia. Nadia, how are you doing? I'm well, thanks and you. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, I, I must say that the influential women are making such an incredible difference. Durban, Johannesburg, and soon to be around the world, we'll be checking you out. So Nadia, tell us a little bit more about yourself and your secrets to success. So I basically am a mother to three kids. I am a qualified Bachelor of Education teacher. I did uh, work in the corporate world for some time and managed my husband's corporate business in marketing in the Eastern Cape. And at a time when the country was in crisis, I decided that although I may not have had a medical degree, I decided to put my foot forward in joining our leaders, which I am a history major and realized the true spirit of Ubuntu is us coming together as people of the nation and joined forces with other people, just normal, ordinary people with had no idea of how they could make a difference when the healthcare system was overwhelmed. And we started with a distribution of COVID care packs, which were completely Ayurvedic. And within three weeks, the Post, being just an Indian newspaper, had recognized the work we were doing. Wow. And from that point on, I can't really say much except for various multimedia platforms just informing us that I now need to get registered because the work we are doing is amazing and we definitely realize in order to be activists of change, we need money. So, and that's where since the unrest, I have to say I'm absolutely honored and fortunate and humbled all at the same time by the fact of standing here today, it's not about the glitz and glamour, it's about giving us this opportunity to actually reach the audience that yeah. we need in order to have a greater impact in ending poverty globally with just one community at a time. I, I love that and I love, I know you, you, you've shared so many important things to all the people looking out there, watching this interview, blob the chat right now, support the incredible Nadia. You spoke about your, your venture that just turned into something that is inspiring so many different people. And I believe you registered your NPO in March. Absolutely. Congratulations Thank on that. You. Tell us a little bit more about your NPO. So we started with, as I just mentioned, COVID care packs. And then when the country went from February, literally into a state of comfort and we all, we knew things were okay, I was bored. And that's why I love, and I noticed this standing here today, I rise at a challenge. And I decided to create a lots of, ways to make a difference in the lives of children and those in need. And I took to the ground after getting registered and spent nine months finding communities after many obstacles and challenges where there are each and every NPO doing brilliant work. Yeah. However, there are areas being missed, which is where we specialize, that are deep rural, that are difficult and need for by for access. And I have to be honest, after using social media to my positive, basically, they come to us now with stuff, and I find with my team innovative ways of how to convert it either into meals. And now, as I speak here today, coming from an event that we're in the midst of planning on transforming minds, because what better way than to end poverty by installing positive energy yeah. into those that need it the most? I can merely hand them an opportunity of a sponsor of education. I can add them seedlings, which we are doing, but the only way to see a positive change is to change the mind. So thank you for this opportunity. Now that's what it's all about. We all about giving platforms to people like yourself, women out there who's making a difference, who needs that platform to share their message. Any last words before you love us and leave us? Just keep doing what you're doing, guys. And remember one thing as a woman, we all are doing a brilliant job, but let's stop yaying and neighing and let's work together to make a greater impact. That's it. Keep the positivity and lose that negative mindset. From myself, Rajiv Moti, I've got one thing left to say. You guys have just been motivated.